Okay, um, first off, I'm gonna start by disassembling the plate. Make sure there is no um, C clips attached. Uh, sometimes there will be a clip and a post attached. Um, you won't, you won't be able to disassemble it unless you take that out. Um, as you can see, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws, and you got this bracket here. This bracket just holds down into the movement with another set of screws that I have over here. So just if you need to mark it, if you need to put it separately, it's a good idea so that way you know where everything goes. Right, before you take this plate out, though, it's very important to have all the power out of these. Uh, these uh... Yes, always take the power out. Um, don't forget because uh, if you do, you're going to cause damage. You may never be able to buy this movement. It's not available in the market. Seth Thomas is no longer in business. They went out of business in 2004, I believe. And just be careful. Inspect everything before you do it. Think twice and then just do it once, you know. And this is a 1920s clock. 1920s so. clock. It's a very beautiful Seth Thomas number 124. Um, first off, I'm going to start by by taking these nuts out. So uh, you can use a needle nose, but I don't like it. Excuse me. Um, if they're really worn out and they're stripped, you can replace them. Um, it's better to use the original, whatever you have. Let's work with what we have. So you can use parallel pliers, I love this stuff because it grabs it at a perfect square or you can use your flat nose pliers, um, flat pliers will work great, very simple, it's not that hard. Right, if you can't take it off with this, you'll end up rounding the head, the nut. So then I'll go for a um, uh, non serrated um, parallel plier would work great. that there's the bracket and again screwdriver now there now notice there are two different sizes um they may be different lengths too the screw is pretty short has a big head this holds the barrel in place so two screws per barrel See, it doesn't allow the barrel to move around. So these two screws, they they could secure the barrel in place. Secures so the barrel, yeah. It's um. Doesn't allow it to move around. Yeah, it's like a semi-open uh, barrel. Uh, some of them, like the Hermeles, will be sealed with a cap. I'm going to make sure your tips are nice, fit perfectly, there's different sizes, so I got this one from one of my lumber, you know, there's different sizes, this obviously won't fit. Okay, now we got all the barrel screws loose. Now we're going to go with a different screwdriver, smaller, this works great. If you don't know where everything goes, take pictures of it. Or just bring it to me, I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do it on your own, you know. I would, it's better to bring it to a professional or someone that knows better than you. How long have you been doing this, Rafi? It's been in my family my whole life. I've been always helping my dad as a little kid. Um, but as a full time, I would say probably about five years. I've been doing it on a daily basis. So I work six days a week. Our shop is open from Monday through Saturdays. So you know where to find me. So this play is not going to come out like that um, because there is this this rack that counts your hours is in the way. So either you need to lift up the barrel and slide things out but you can't. So in this case, there's a little clip here. If that clip comes out, you can reach in behind the clip. No, 
Oh, they can be stubborn. There, that's your C-clip right there. Don't lose it. Uh, I have a bunch more in case I need it. Now this comes off this rack. Uh, not quite. And this is also necessary to remove. Well, since we're going to do a complete overhaul, we're going to be taking everything apart anyway, but... Yeah. We were just trying to show you how to take this plate off. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, uh, sometimes it's not just as easy as taking screws out. You gotta be careful what's in the way, don't bend anything, you know. There's a little... Oh, this one's got a pin, huh? It's got a, you know, bend a wire or something. You could put a tapered pin if you like. So now, this will come out. This is your lever for your chime. It's attached on a post right there. And then now your rack should come out. Like so. It's got a spring too, so keep in mind. Tweezers. Spring attached here. You don't need to take it all the way out if you don't need, if you don't want to. But, now, there goes the plate. Now look how dirty that is. That's you don't see that off the front, so you know it's very important for um, inspection to see. Well, somebody really just yeah, squirted oil. Or... Oil everywhere, as you can see. Um, so just somebody just hit it with some WD-40 or something, or what? <laughs> too much oil. Just too much too oil. Too much oil and um, seeped out of the barrels. Uh, these are like semi-closed barrels. They're not exactly sealed with a cap on there. And so as you can see, here's the click I was talking about in the other video. Here's the click. Here's the ratchet. Inspect the teeth. They're not worn out or chopped off or anything. Um, now remember, this is your time tra uh, strike train. I always like to mark it because there can be different size uh, mainsprings, different size barrels. So I just get a, you can get a screwdriver or something, and this right here, S, small s, for strike, T for time, and C for chime, simple. Now um, when I take the main springs out, I inspect the... The loop, the loop, and the end where it catches onto the, the catch. The, yeah, where it catches onto the barrel. No, it's got a little. Oh, that's it. So first off, this is gonna be um, cleaned, and then we're gonna inspect for bushings, and then we're gonna take it apart completely. So this being an, an, an overhaul cleaning at this point, because we, there's no way this is a. A simple oiling there's no way this right. is a partial clean this is just too gunked up for for anything but a complete you, overhaul clean and so so you're going to completely disassemble that or are you going to put that in the in the well, that to clean this first or what are you going to do first? well at this point to save time because in this case i didn't need to completely <coughs> take it apart in order to put it in my tank i'm going to clean it without these legs and I may have to disassemble a few more things, like uh, this suspension spring and the uh, leader and uh, anything that might fall off. Um, inspect for washers. Sometimes there's washers, you know, washers over here or spacers. Here, there's a spacer right here. One there and one was over here. So inspect for those things. You don't lose it in the tank. Um, can, can you inspect for wear now on the pivots? And at this point, I can't tell what's worn out or not. It's a it's a very obvious clue that there is wear if you see a big black mark. But you don't know how many bushings you need until you clean it. So at this point, I'm going to clean it as is. And then, after cleaning it, I'm going to inspect for bushing wear. And then, uh, I'll mark it. Excuse me, I have a sharpie here. Fine point sharpie doesn't do any damage don't use any screwdrivers don't write on there you know 
use a fine point sharpie, it's an ultra fine point. So right on here, for example, after cleaning it, one, two, three, four, and then whatever, five, six, seven. Uh, but in order, so that way you don't forget where, what bushing goes where, which size. So this number one would have to match with that gear. This number two would match with that gear. So you know which side is which. Very self-explanatory. Let me clean it off. Great. That's it in this video.